this is not a way to mislead you actually i and my friends have made a video on our campus diaries for a competition so please do watch it like it and share it as much as possible thank you Welcome back. This is a tutorial mainly based on bitrates and stuff. I had received a question from Hope in the comment section of my older video. It read as I just noticed that spec shows higher if the dBs of a song are higher. For example, if you turn up the dBs of an MP3 with MP3 gain, then spec sometimes will show that file as having higher bitrate. I am not sure why yet. Let's start from scratch. Sound consists of waves of different frequencies. Suppose we consider multiple waves of arbitrary frequencies and amplitudes. This is what we get. If we consider the combination of these waves by adding their equations and then plotting the graph, we get this result. Bitrate is the number of bits that are processed per unit time. It is given by this formula. Analog audio is continuous, that is, it can take infinite values like the ones on vinyl records. But if we need to store this digitally, then we need sampling. Sampling is the reduction of a continuous analog signal into a discrete digital signal. The rate at which this is done is known as sample rate. According to Nyquist theorem, the sampling frequency must be at least twice the frequency, twice the maximum frequency component. So usually we find MP3s with a sampling rate of 44.1 kilohertz, indicating that it can record frequencies up to 22 kilohertz. Bit depth is the number of bits of data used to represent the information in each sample. Suppose we have a bit depth of 16, then the amplitudes of the signals in each sample can be approximated to one of the 2 raised to 16 values. I'll be using different tools like Spec, MP3 Gain and Isotope RX5 Audio Editor. Now I've got an audio file having 6 different audio frequencies. This side says MP3 Gain does some kind of normalization using an algorithm. In our terms, it is used to make the song louder overall. But actually, it is used to adjust many songs to the same volume. I have duplicated that audio and I will be applying MP3 gain on that audio. Let's set gain to its maximum possible level. Track analysis gives us the current maximum dB and track gain makes this song louder. As you can see, the spectrogram in spec has become brighter. This is RX5 which has two modes for audio, waveform and spectrogram. Spectrogram shows the frequencies of signals present in the samples over time and Waveform shows the amplitudes of these signals over time. If we look closely at the first tone, this one, it appears as a combination of many frequencies or due to noise. It is not pure. That's why you see the frequency spectrogram has become brighter. Remember, brighter means louder. Let's look at the third tone. If we look closely, it appears to be an almost perfect sine wave. So if we compare this original one with this normalized one, we see that the amplitude of the waveforms has increased. If we switch to the spectrogram display, the range of frequencies appears to be the same, but the spectrogram has become brighter. The blue areas which appear brighter were earlier not that prominent because it is noise whose amplitude was very less before the normalization. If we now take a pure single frequency tone, it pretty much looks like a perfect sine wave. As against this, if we see our earlier tone, 
right around this region we see there are disturbances hence the earlier tone wasn't a perfect sine wave we now normalize it using mp3 gain if we now open this audio using rx5 we see that the amplitude of the waveform has increased to such an extent that it has got clipped off if we check out the spectrogram view the spectrogram appears brighter the brightest line is the main frequency of the tone in the spectrogram of the normalized one other bright lines are the side frequencies which actually did exist before as well which formed up the tone but we can now see them because mp3 gain increase their amplitudes even in spec in the spectrogram of the original audio we can see the side frequencies represented by these faint violet lines so for a sampling rate of 44 kilohertz maximum frequency possible is 22 kilohertz and for 16 kilohertz it is 8 kilohertz thus all three values count while calculating bitrate there you go if you like this video hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe See you later.